Hello everyone, it's good to see you today. I haven't done much online. I just have uh, worship services. I've seen lots of other pastors do something. And I thought, you know, I probably ought to do something too to reach out to the people of St. Mark and anyone else who might um, watch. My name is Andy Tyler. I'm pastor of St. Mark United Methodist Church in Cleburne. This is my dog, Stanley, and he is, he's not going to look at the camera. He's just going to stay here in front of me. I might have to get rid of Stanley. I let him in here because Last week when I was thinking about what I could possibly do, it just hit me. Well, maybe I'll do something called Mornings with Stanley. And of course, this is not the Stanley I'm talking about. If you know me, you know that I'm talking about E. Stanley Jones, the great missionary to India, who was quite influential in the first half of the 20th century. He died in 1973. Um, he has been very influential in my life and my faith. And um, um, he wrote a lot of books and um, I thought maybe we'll just spend some mornings looking at one of his devotional books. And the one that I was thinking about looking at was this one called Christian Maturity. It was given to me by a lady named Mary Faye Orr, who is the battle axe of Young County. And, and she acknowledges that she is, in fact, the best battle axe in the world. And, um... She's very good at it, <laughs> and she admits that she's very good at it. But um, she gave this to me, and when I saw the title, I thought, oh, Christian maturity, that's kind of insulting to me, um, that anybody would give me a book on Christian maturity. But then I read it, and I thought, you know something? <laughs> this was good. I needed it, because I was not as mature as I thought I am. I'm still not as mature as I would like to be. And um, so I would like to... Um, to read some, uh, just go day by day through this. As long as this pandemic lasts, I'll post a video on our Facebook page and maybe Stanley will leave me alone enough to read. I, um, I'm gonna get a Bible. It's gonna be King James. It's just the one that's right here and that's why I'm gonna use it because it's right here and I don't wanna stand up and um, find a different one. But this was my grandmother's Bible. Um, my grandmother, Mae Mills. She passed away when I was three years old. And um, so we're, I'm going to look at the, the scripture passage that um, um, Ephesians 4, 11 through 13, which is a passage that is listed for the day on this daily devotion. So Ephesians 4, poor Stanley here is driving me crazy. And I don't know how long this is going to last before I have to... to banish him. He's really good about getting in his cage, but his cage is in the other room, and I really don't want to go into the other room. So Ephesians 4, 11 through 13. See, this is what I deal with all the time. He just wants to play all the time. He's a very energetic dog, and I am not an energetic man. So um, 11 through 13. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edific, edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And I think I am going to have to banish poor Stanley to... The hallway. This will not take real a long time. Stand with me. So let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Oh, I feel so mean when I do that. But here, here is the first daily devotion. Week one, Sunday. We would define a mature person as one who is able to function happily, usefully, and at his maximum capacity in a given situation. This definition needs correction at the place of his maximum capacity, for it is possible to lay hold of capacities not your own and to make them your own through grace. But we will let the definition stand for the time being. If this definition of maturity is somewhere near being accurate, then it is obvious that many of us are not mature. For we do not function happily, usefully, and at our maximum powers in our situation. Why? The temptation will be strong and very ancient. 
the most ancient of temptations, to lay the blame on someone else. The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Adam blamed God for giving him the woman, and he blamed the woman for giving him the fruit. God and the woman, and not Adam, were to blame. Such an attitude showed immaturity. To blame others and our surroundings shows our immaturity. The first step in gaining maturity is to accept the responsibility for, for being what we are. I do not deny that our surroundings of people and place can and do influence us, but only that part of our environment to which we respond influences us. We do the responding. The choice is always ours. If you are a happy person with a half-life output, then it is becoming... Then it, then it is because by a series of choices you have consented to, to be that half person. But no one need be a half person. For both God and life will maturity. Life wills maturity. Within everything from the lowest cell to the highest man is an urge after completion, after fuller, more abundant life. Everything reaches up after maturity. If therefore we are not mature, it is obvious that we are blocking the life urge within us. Somehow, some way we are choking those urges, and God too wills maturity. All his resources are behind those who will to be mature persons. And this is the prayer for the day. O oh God, my Father, I cannot bear being what I am, half made, half baked, a half person. So today, I put my feet upon the way that leads me out of immaturities into thy wholeness, into thy abundance. Amen. Our affirmation for the day is, um, my first step in maturity, I accept responsibility for what I am. I hope you've enjoyed our first morning with Stanley. Um, I'll be doing this again. Maybe eventually I'll do something on my own. But right now, I think I'm just going to 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 read some East Stanley Jones. I hope you, um, you will join us again every morning until we stop doing this. Hopefully this pandemic will not last too long, that we will be back together in person soon. Thank you for joining me this morning.